Okay, so Mr. Ironside, I don't know your real name, but he's on the Scale RC Heli's web forum. And I can't believe I didn't go over this because <laughs> I made such a big stink of it on the internet. So with changing my timers, when I unplug the receiver from the radio or from the helicopter and this all comes up, there, okay. So it's telling me I've got a signal loss. Now, in order to get rid of this, you have to push the clear button. And my problem was, is it was erasing all of my times. So I come into clear and now, ha 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 ha, my times stay. Very good. So this is how I did it. You gotta go into the timers and in menu, come down to timers and sensors, and you gotta do it on both of them. If you have multiple timers like I do, went to timers, went into the standard, and down here, there's a switch the timer is activated with. So I have it set for my idle up two in the second position up. Then there's a reset switch that I have, I have uh, put on and I put that on this switch here and you can see it switches. But then in order to get it to keep from resetting all your stuff, you have to change this to a long reset. And normally it's a short re reset. So the long reset seems to clear out that on the front page. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to come back all the way out by just escaping all the way out. See, so it's going. Add a two. So now both my timers are going. And then when I'm done. Add a one. And I'm going, oh, okay, I'm done. So now when the alarm goes off and I hit the clear button, it doesn't clear because of the long reset. Then I come over here to the switch that I actually put it on and that's how it resets my time. All right, so I'm gonna change models, model, select model, and I'm gonna go to the llama. And in here, I'm going to menu one of my timers and sensors and see which ones I have in here because I have flight time and I have run time so this is just a standard timer it's on uh, switch a which is uh, my idle up one switch and uh, I have the reset on switch C and I have it to a long reset and this is on all flight modes now my run time is a free runner and it actually runs the whole time because it's on switch A in a different position. I can reset it on here and it is a long reset. In order to have it so that, um, it, was, it was a weird thing because I want the run time to be running as soon as I flip it up into either idle one or idle two. And I wanted that time to continue running. But the problem was, is as soon as I flipped it all the way down into normal mode, it kept running also. So now I've got to go in uh, on the front page and I have to actually stop the, uh, the timer. This is my run position. And then this will be my flight time. So I know how long my flight time is compared to my run time. So unfortunately, when this goes down, see, my runtime is still going. And even when I flip it all the way off, it's still running because it's in that free run. So I have to actually come over here and push the stop. I get my times what I need. And when I do unplug it and I hit the clear button here, when I unplug the receiver battery and turn it all off and it's going beep, 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 all that kind of good stuff, I have to actually, I can push clear and my timer still stay. So that's the only kind of weird one I've got to deal with, with that timer. As soon as I land, I bring it to idle one and let it idle for 30 seconds to a minute to kind of cool down. Then I flip it off and then I have to push the stop button, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I can deal with it because this is so cool.